Hello everybody and welcome to this guide about how to extract audio out of Amiga games. So the Amiga had a load of fantastic games and with those games came a lot of brilliant music as well. Now wouldn't it re be really good if we could extract that uh, modern music out of the game and be able to play it whenever we want? Well we can do that in WinUAE. Uh, it doesn't work for every game, but I will show you how you can do it. And if it works in the game that you want, then brilliant. If it doesn't, then sadly, you'll have to find another way. Uh, I've got a couple of games lined up uh, that I'm going to show you. So uh, I've got WinUAE loaded up. Now, the area that we're going to be looking at is under output. And when the game is running, we'll be looking at the Pro Wizard 1.6.2. Uh, if we go to Paths first, we need to make sure that we've set a location for the rips area. So this is where it rips the sound to. So as you can see, I've got it in a folder called PC and then Mods. If I just go to that, so in WinUAE, PC, Mods, it should appear in this folder. So. Let's go to configurations. Let's load up global gladiators and start the game. So while the music is playing, we can hit F12. And then we'll pull back to the menu again. So if we go to output, now you'll see that this Pro Wizard 1.62 is now showing. So if we click on that, it says module packed data found. So that is a success. It's actually found some music. Uh, you might get another message. Uh, and I'll show you an example of that later on of when it does fail. So, but this was a success. It's found some music. Would you like to save it? Yes, I would. So scan finished, click OK. And as you can see in that mods folder, there's a file that's appeared. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to load up a configuration. I'm going to load up my uh, better workbench. And then let's just start that up. And I've got that PC directory mounted in workbench. So you can see the mods folder there. And there you go. There's that mod file that's just been extracted. So I could use like, uh, for, for example, the hippo player, drag that into there. And there we go, there's the mod track. So let me show you some other examples. So let's open up, say for example, Pinball Dreams. And we've got some music started up. So while the music is playing, hit F12 again. Go to output, Pro Wizard 1.62 again. Yes, it's detected something. Would I like to save it? Yes, please. And there we go. Sometimes you'll find that as well as the mod file, it gives you another sort of like file. This was a digital illusions file. So I'm not sure exactly what that was, but uh, there's the mod track there. I mean, we could play this in uh, VLC as well. And this should work. Brilliant. So now I'm going to give you an example of when it actually does fail. Now another great track is in the game Battle Squadrons. So if we load up that game and click start, and then we wait for the music to start. Okay, press F12. And then if I go to Output, Pro Wizard, Sadly, it says no music modules or pack data was found. So I don't know how this game was produced, but, um, but sadly, WinUAE can't detect. So this doesn't work 100% of the time, but I thought I'd show it to you because it does work for some games and it's a really cool little trick that WinUAE can do. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, 
please like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more little uh, WinUA tips like this. And I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.